Hi guys, Dane here and also a cat. Hey Biggie, salut! Come over to. Um, welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I've currently got some food on. I'm reading Faith by Peter James. I'm just getting to the end of the His Dark Materials TV show and me and Biggie are settling in for a productive evening, aren't we Biggie? Yeah. Hello, it's your boy. Um, I've just had a shower, so that's why my hair is wet. I'm so tired. It's currently 25 past three in the afternoon. I might go to bed soon, we will see. Um, I've finished reading Quest in Paradise, so that's good. And now I've just picked up The Armageddon Rag by George R.R. R. Martin, which I'm enjoying. I mean, I'm only like 20 pages in, but I'm enjoying quite a lot so far. Because it's basically set like during the 1960s, sort of the counterculture movement, and it appears to be like a murder like a hard-boiled murder thing going on so I'm, I'm quite excited to see where we go with this one <laughs> i am watching rats of prey biggie biggie is in the window behind me oh he actually heard his name that's very cute how you doing uh, Rets of Prey is a YouTube channel, they don't upload anymore unfortunately, but they basically take people doing Let's Play videos on YouTube where they play computer games and then they talk over them, it's very amusing. My watch later list is currently down to, what's it down to, 107, here's Biggie. So um, I'm kind of working on pretty much finishing that today because a lot of them are stuff I don't even want to watch, it's all stuff from years ago. What do you want, Biggie? What do you want? <laughs> he always comes out when I've got the camera. He's a little attention seeker. So yeah, it is 20 to 9 in the morning uh, on Thursday the 30th of April. I don't have too much to report really. My sleep has been terrible and also I've had so much work. I've just been working loads of overtime. Uh, Biggie's got some little knots in his fluff here. You've got some little knots in your fluff. Am I going to have to trim your fluff? Or are you going to clean it yourself? Um, my friend might have coronavirus, which isn't good. She's got a, te a test, but... Well, I feel like I did my good deed because I've been reading about and writing about it a lot for one of my clients. And I watched a video of this guy where he said his main symptom was just this really bad headache. And she's had this really bad headache for like three days now. Um, and she has had like one or two other symptoms, but like no fever and no cough or anything. But yeah, um, I was talking to her about it and said she should probably get a test. So she's booked a test. And um, yeah, uh, she's woken up today and she's got a really bad cough. So it's not looking good, is it? Um, I, what have I been doing? I, as I said, I've been working by night. Uh, been up all night all the time. I'm so tired. Been staying up all night most of the time and working on client stuff. Uh, I've got a bit of writing done as well, a little bit of editing done here and there. Did my interview with the Moods yesterday. Who, these are like a, a couple from High Wickham who put on events and stuff. They're also, between the two of them, they're half of a four-piece band called My Mate Dave. So yeah, that was an interesting interview, seemed to go well. I made a little pizza earlier, I've got banana bread. Um... So yeah, that's really where we're at. In a minute, I'm going to do some more hoovering. I've been, my house is pretty much clean now, so that's good. And I've been sorting through my archive, um, and now I've mostly done it in my sort folder. I've just got a bunch. I'm sorting through all my old music, and I I am doing really well actually with it. I've almost got to the end. The end is nigh, and I've been reading. So I finished reading Faith by Peter James. Uh, it was like a 3.25 out of 5, fairly generic thriller really, if anything slightly substandard. Uh, and then I read Mortal Coils by Aldous Huxley, five stories in this like beautiful little Penguin edition. One of them is actually a play, which was a nice little surprise too. And I've never read Huxley's fiction before, I've only ever read his non-fiction, which I have really enjoyed. So it was cool to read his fiction as well, and um, yeah, very well written, just some great short, great short stories really. And the play in particular was probably my favourite. What was it called? I'll tell you all of them, what have we got? So we've got the Geoconda Smile, the play was called Permutations Among the Nightingales, and we have the Tillotson Banquet, Green Tunnels and Nuns at Luncheon. Uh, and as you can see, I've tabbed this out to do a full review. 
And now I'm reading Quest in Paradise by David Attenborough. So basically he goes, he's gone searching for a bird called Paradise Bird. I'm actually during the second half now where now he's um, looking into cargo courts, which is basically when settlers used to arrive. And the locals thought that, um, like they built courts and religions around them because they brought this cargo. And they were like, well, nobody could make this stuff. And, you know, it was just goods that Western civilization had produced, I suppose. But, um... Yeah, really interesting so far, and um, yeah, some good stuff, some good stuff. So I think that's about it. As I say, I'm cracking on with my YouTube, trying to empty my watch later, basically. I'm a season and a half into the three seasons of The Handmaid's Tale, and then I have like three things on Netflix, and then that's literally it. That's all my entertainment, all my like, yeah, all the stuff I watch. So then I'm just going to start re-watching movies and TV shows, because... Oh no, then actually, no, then I'm going to listen to my audiobook of Persuasion by Jane Austen. And then, I don't know, hopefully by then something, <laughs> something new will have come along. Or we've, I don't know, I don't think we're going to be out of lockdown anytime soon. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Yo, I'm spitting it janky. The dames want those pants of mine like the widow twanky. I have been, I've been freestyling to entertain myself. What was the other one? I'm spitting the facts, got more pussy than a home for cats. Rap's just poems, basically. And obviously, I'm sick at rapping. I'm watching The Handmaid's Tale. What was the, oh yeah, yeah. I was trying to freestyle like, I'm spitting in Gilead. Iller than whippets. <laughs> On missions to Syria. <laughs> it's currently 20 to seven, no, 20 to eight. On Friday, the thir the first of May, um, apparently, old uh, Boris Johnson is going to talk about how we unlock down in the UK next week. He's going to unveil a road map map because he reckons we're past the peak. But if he does unveil a road map, I think it's going to be very slow. Like the first thing I reckon they'll do, or one of the first things, is be like, "Yes, you could go and see your family and friends again," because at the moment the official advice is obviously still. Like, I can't just go and meet a friend, even if we social distance. We're just not supposed to be doing anything except for essential journeys. It's like, I'd quite like to, like, I don't know, you know, like, get my friend Jordana over here and play some music. Like, she could sit over there, she could sit two metres away, but it'd be nice to get drunk and play music and be able to speak to people in person, you know? But, hey-ho. Here's Biggie. He's coming at me. Aren't you? You're coming at me. Why are you coming at me again? You're sitting on my book. I'm reading The Armageddon Rag by George R.R. R. Martin. It's very good so far. It's um, it's kind of almost like a crime fiction novel, but with like ritualized murder in it. Basically, the main character's a journalist, and he's following up what happens when a couple of these band members of a band called the Nazgul uh, have been murdered and whatnot. So yeah, it's like George R.R. R. Martin geeking out on. Hey, stop trying to not. He's trying to bite the tabs out that I've marked my pages with. No, get off. Don't. I haven't, look, you can do it after I've done my review, buddy, all right? But until I've done my review, I need to keep those pages. Anyway, yeah, it's really good so far. Um, uh, like, it's got, like, some nice fantasy geekery in it. Ow, got some rock and roll. He attacked me then, didn't you, Biggie? Because he's got a little, he's got a little nubbin. He's got, a oh! Oh! <laughs> ah! 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 What are you doing? Oh, and you've lost my page, great. Great, okay. This is what I have to deal with sometimes in the mornings. Um, what else is new? I finished, also finished reading Quest in Paradise, so there's that. I've actually also finished all of the YouTube videos on my Watch Later playlist. So this is actually starting to hurt quite a bit now, Biggie. Normally I can bear this a little bit because he's like biting on the dressing gown and the dressing gown kind of stops him. But your teeth are bloody long, mate. What? Ow. Have you been sharpening them? Well, anyway, this is why sometimes I joke I'm like a lion tamer. He doesn't give a sh- look at him. Ah, it's actually genuinely starting to hurt Biggie now. No, we're going to do some more. Ah, I think you've drawn blood. I think you've drawn blood, mate. Look, you're gonna have to go now. Look, ha! 
Oh, can we see? What do you look like wearing the hat? Whoa! He doesn't want to wear the hat. Wear the hat, Biggie. Wear the hat. I'm just trying to get you to wear the hat without killing me. Look, it's a hat. Whoop. No? Too big for your head. Hopefully he'll stop attacking me. No. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> I saw it in the viewfinder. Why are you being such a dick? Why are you being such a dick? You got my hand now. Look. Oh! Oh, now you're bunny kicking. Right, I'm going to roll you over into your back. Oh, daddy wins now. Daddy wins now. Uh oh, pillow. Pillow. This is pillow. Pillow. Yes. Piss off over there. Got my arm on. What are you doing? Anyway, so yeah, and I've finished watching everything in my Watch Later playlist on YouTube, which is unheard of. I can see him coming back. And uh, I've got like a season and two episodes of The Handmaid's Tale left. Um, and then The Last Kingdom. And then I've got my Jane Austen audio book. And that's it. So it's possible by the end of this weekend, I'll have run out of stuff. <laughs> Very end of the worldy. Tailing. That's the mattress that somebody left outside my house. Can you see the hail on it? My ma my house is a mess. Forgive me. My spray paint is here and I want to go and paint my guitar but it's raining. Need to wait for it to stop raining. <coughs> Product placement. Very briefly so I've used another kind of paint on it as you can see the wood is still showing through uh, so I'm not too sure about that I'm also not sure about where it's dribbled at the side I'm hoping that will sand away it does definitely look slightly more covered now than it did before especially down at this bottom bit here look so I don't know man I've got six of the six more of these things so that's three for the front and three for the back, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna give it another coat and then another coat and then we'll see how it is. And uh, yeah, if not, I'm not too bothered if the wood shows through. I just, I don't know, I think it would look cool if it was solid yellow, you know? Especially because you can see it more in the dark. Like I think it will show up more under light. Blessed be the fruit, homies. I'm on. I think season three, episode one. So there's 13 episodes of this season. And then that's it. And then I've got um, The Last Kingdom to watch. I've also been letting my YouTube videos build up. I actually was going to watch some now. I might even see if I can. The problem is, is when I'm trying to stream it to my TV, my internet's not being very good at the moment. So it's not letting me stream it. Um... Oh, yesterday I played some music for a little while, was having a lovely little time, drinking some rum and coke, and then I had a coughing fit that lasted for like an hour, and then by the time that I'd stopped coughing, I was so exhausted, I just went to bed. Um, it's been a little bit better today, but yeah, like I couldn't breathe, I almost called an ambulance, and obviously, with things as they are at the moment, that's not good, is it? Uh, I'm hoping it's just that I overstretch my voice and I've not been sleeping enough and stuff like that, so... Seeing as I feel okay now, you know, I'm going to continue social distancing, I guess. Give it a couple days and see whether I get any other symptoms, but, you know. I have applied some more layers of spray paint. As you can see, it's kind of patchy. Um, and you can still see through to the wood in some parts as well. Which isn't ideal, but hey-ho. Um, I'm just waiting for it to dry. Some of the bits where it's globier here on the sides, as you can see, um, still... You see what I mean? I can smudge it with my finger there, which I obviously don't want to do. Um, but I've got some sandpaper there, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a sand in a bit. 
some markings on it as well, which again aren't perfect, but well you gotta think, scratch plate, how's a scratch plate gonna be? The scratch plate goes like that. And then what I'm probably gonna do is continue this black line on the scratch plate across over here, across the body like that. And then maybe have like another line down there. Uh, but yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with how it's coming. So I just need to, as I say, I'm gonna give it another hour or so. I can probably pick it up. Oh God, I see it's stuck. You can see in the light here, the front is looking a lot more covered than the back. The back is obviously still kind of patchy. So I'm gonna spray the back in a bit as well. But I think my plan now, as I say, I'm gonna let this dry, then I'm gonna sand down the front um, and hopefully that will do it and it won't need any more work because uh, it'll get rid of some of these lumps and stuff. Um, and then I can flip it over. I've got two more cans of yellow left. And I can do the back and give that another layer, couple layers. And then I can sand down the back and then the sides will be the last thing to do. Um, and then here as well, I'm gonna switch out this top pickup here. I've got a humbucker coming, so that's very exciting. Um, but yeah, we're getting there now with this thing. So that's that little update there. In terms of my reading, I'm still reading The Armageddon Rag by George R. R. Martin, still very much enjoying it. I'm on page 192, about 380 or so. So I don't think I'll finish it today. Oh, actually, maybe it's uh, 360. So I still don't think I'm gonna finish it today, but uh, I might do, it depends how long I'm awake for. And if I don't, I'll be able to um, finish it tomorrow for sure. And then I don't know what's next. I might get a book in the post. I've got a few on their way to me. I've got an Agatha Christie coming and um, a Haruki Murakami that I'm gonna read as a buddy read with Charlie. I think I've got something else coming as well. Um, but obviously the post's kind of slow at the moment. So if nothing does arrive, I might go for A Clergyman's Daughter by George Orwell, which I've got down there. All right, we're on episode four of 13. Guitar. I mean, it's not perfect, you can see it's got little bumps on it and stuff. But uh, I don't know, if anything they add character, I guess. I might be able to sand them off, but the problem is, is when I was sanding it before, it was leaving, like, the colour of the sandpaper was going on the yellow. And then on the back it's a definite mess, look at that. But I like it in a way, it's kind of punky. So, uh, and then, yeah, this will, obviously, the scratch plate will go there anyway so it'll look like that so that'd be cool yep so just waiting for that to dry <laughs> dry bit on my hand and I keep trying to moisturize it but it's not really going away and it's in a really difficult position because when I fret a guitar it's where I bend and it presses against the guitar neck I'm supposed to be playing for two hours in my live stream later I just have blisters on this hand but the guitar is finished so there will be a video soon about the creation of that guitar It is currently Sunday the 3rd of May. So tomorrow's Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you. How exciting. Um, I've finished watching The Handmaid's Tale, so, but I did find some other stuff though. So I found 
Nightmare on Elm Street is on Netflix, which I've never seen it, so I'm going to watch that. And then Into the Night, which is a new series. It sounded, uh, it kind of vaguely reminded me of, um, oh, what's it called? The Stephen King story. Um, oh, the one about the, fla the plane. No, it's gone. But anyway, it reminded me a bit of that from the synopsis, so I'm going to watch that. And then we've got The Last Kingdom. And I'm currently just watching my YouTube watch later list. Uh, I still can't stream to my TV for some reason. I haven't been able to for like three days now. So I've got three days of watch later to catch up on. Um, which is keeping me going. For now at least. But I'll probably finish that today. I'll probably finish that and Elm Street today. And then I'll have Into the Night and The Last Kingdom. And then um, my audio book. I've pretty much finished the Armageddon rag. I have like 10 pages left. It has lost a little bit of momentum towards the end, I'm not going to lie. But overall, I have still enjoyed it. I will give it a 4 out of 5. Reminds me a little bit of um, Joe Hill and uh, Heart Shaped Box. So if you enjoyed that, definitely check this out. And um, yeah, next up, I'm going to start reading The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. So I'm going to be buddy reading that with Charlie, Charlie Heathcote. Uh, so we're going to do a chapter a day and then like in the last week of May we're just going to blaze through the rest of it because they're about like 35 chapters or something like that so theoretically by the end of the day I should be on chapter 3 and I haven't picked it up yet because I've been finishing George R. R. Martin but yeah that's what I'm going to pick up next and then I think while I'm reading that I'm also going to read A Clergyman's Daughter by George Orwell yeah and I'll live stream later so I'll try and take some videos
watching The Last Kingdom. What episode am I on? I'm running it from my phone because my computer's not letting me to stream. We are on, oh, we're on episode four of 10. So we're making a good dent. And then after this, I do have a few videos in my YouTube watch later, not loads. Um, so I'll watch that. I'll probably, I'll probably just keep watching The Last Kingdom until I go to bed tonight. And I'll, I'll have a couple of episodes left and then I'll finish it in the morning and then watch my YouTube. And then all I've got is my Jane Austen. Over there we have my guitars. I've ordered two new guitar stands, so I'm going to keep all these three just on display in here. Mainly just so I can pick them up and play them when I want to. I also got a new microphone, which was very cool. And me and my friend, my hair is so fluffy at the moment, I need a shower to be honest. And my friend Dave and I, who are in a band called The Ilk, we've been posting a few videos, so I'll put a couple of excerpts of those here. But um, also, The Ilk is on YouTube, so I'll link to The Ilk's YouTube channel, and you can go and check them out in full if you want to. And we're on Facebook. You know, just making the most of things while we're still in lockdown. Um, it's Tuesday, as we're speaking, the art show, my show on Wickham Sound, is airing. So hopefully that's all gone okay. I, I don't actually listen to it when it airs. Um, I had a bit of an update as well about what's happening at the station, so can't say anything at the moment, but obviously coronavirus is taking its toll. Let's just put it that way. Um, I did my stream on Sunday. People seem to like it. In fact, it got more likes than any stream I've posted. Oh yeah, I've bought a new webcam, uh, 1080p webcam for the Facebook stream because I stream on Facebook as well. So hopefully the Facebook stream will be better quality. I've also got a new microphone, but it's over there, so I'm not going to show you, but it's like an old 50s style microphone. Um, and my new strap bit arrived, so that I've I basically built my own strap for my guitar as well, so that's very cool. Uh, I'm still buddy reading the Wind Up Bird Chronicle with Charlie, so as it's the 5th today, I should be on chapter 10 by the time I finish. I'm currently on chapter 9, but I'm finishing off reading A Clergyman's Daughter by George Orwell as well. So I'm going to keep on cracking on with this. Probably might just about finish it tonight, might not. Um, and then I'll pick up Murakami then, and then I'll just read through until I'm on chapter 12, I guess, which is where I should be by the end of tomorrow. Which is another... It's only 35 pages, so it's quite a manageable way of like tackling this big old chunker. Uh, a little bit at a time, so yeah. And I read some more of my bedtime book, which is Silas Mana by George Eliot. To be honest, I don't really know what's happening. I've not been paying that much attention, but it is very, very beautifully written. So I think that's it. And then after I've finished Orwell and caught up with the Wind Up Bird Chronicle, it'll be time to pick up another main book. Um, I've got some on the way to me in the post, but if not, mm, I'm running out. If not, I might go for Bill Bryson, Made in America, because I've been enjoying the Bryson I've read recently. It doesn't look like it's super long. And yeah, I'm currently on 36 books currently reading. This one, when I finish this, will take me down to 35. So yeah, there we have it. That is the end of another weekly reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. I think I got my outro right, did I? Somebody let me know.